the dangerous street fight. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. Tariq versus Kane. Look, Kane and Tariq are different individuals, but they are both monsters in their own way. See, Kane was raised in the life. You know, he's the muscle of the Lorenzo organization. Look, he chopped up his own uncle to pieces because his uncle was a snitch. He hit his own mother when he was heated. He got the living daylights beat out of him by his own father. And we've seen Kane whip the dude that Mecca sent after him so Kane could prove himself to Mecca. Then Kane snapped his neck with ease. See, Kane has a lot of experience when it comes to execution, general fighting. So on paper, Kane demolishes Tariq. But the thing is, Tariq has the favor of the writer. So there's a lot of unrealistic things that Tariq will be able to get away with that won't occur in real life. Tariq killed his own father. So, you know, people may may say that Kane was shook to take out his own father. So then that would mean that Tariq is tougher than Kane. Nah. Mm -mm. It's not that simple. Look, Kane being afraid to take out his father in book two of season two showed us that Kane has a lot of respect for his father and really didn't want to do it. See, Tariq lost respect for his own father. Tariq was confused on why Ghost left Tasha, and he made up stories in his own mind and created this false narrative about Ghost being this evil man that was going to destroy the family. That's why it was easy for Tariq to pull the trigger because emotionally he was done with Ghost because he thought Ghost was going to throw him and his family under the bus. And then there were people like Kanan, Tasha, Dre, Ray Ray, and even at one point, Tommy, those people had a hand in Tariq's growing disdain towards Ghost, right? So Tariq had a lot of motivation to kill Ghost, but Kane, he looked up to his father. He looked up to Lorenzo. Kane would always speak highly about his father. Since Lorenzo went inside and even after he got out and even when Lorenzo sided with Drew over Kane, Kane still had enough respect for his dad and hesitated and chose not to shoot and kill his father. Now, now even though Monet and Tariq tricked Kane into thinking he was going to take out Lorenzo, Tariq stopped him and told him that Lorenzo was not the intended target. Then Kane had a sigh of relief. But look, Kane was never pushed to the point where he felt that Lorenzo was a threat to the family. So because of that respect that he had, Kane couldn't take out his own blood. There was a time when Kane went against Lorenzo, but he just wanted to prove to his father that he could stand on his own and that he was worthy enough to be the leader that Kane wanted Lorenzo to see him as. So the whole thing about Tariq killing ghosts and Kane not killing Lorenzo argument, that doesn't hold any weight. Now back to the fight. Tariq is a book smart kid and actually he has intellect that transcends beyond the books and is able to adapt mentally to a lot of situations. When, you know, Kane took Tariq under his wing, he was able to catch up quickly. But despite that, Tariq cannot fight. Like, <laughs> let me tell you, Tariq can't fight worth nothing. It's good. Tariq can't fight. Look, Tariq had a steel pipe in his hand. He didn't know what he was doing. He just swung just to be swinging. He was fighting that little weak hitter that Kane sent after Tariq. That little hitter snuffed Tariq in the mouth, dropped Tariq, and almost cut him up in pieces. But luckily, 2 bit saved him. And Tariq may be smarter than Kane or have a higher IQ than him. There are specifics when it comes to being smart. 
Now, the general and societal, the mainstream definition of being smart is to be book smart. But there's also situational smarts. There's environmental, behavioral smarts. There's smarts in the different types of skills that you may possess. So being smart in one area doesn't always transcend into all general areas. See, two bit shows what Tariq lacked, and that's experience. And actually save Tariq by not having his fingerprints and DNA all over the area he was fighting at. Or I should say, struggling to fight at. Who the fuck is this nigga trying to kill you? I don't know who that is. Y'all got cameras in here? Nah, they out of service. Motherfucker, I should shoot this nigga for fucking up my brody. But they asking if he killed me, huh? More. Man, that's what you asked for. Just saved your fucking life. It's gonna run you at least 20 to 50 more bands. Fuck it, let's just go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wipe everything down you touch, you stupid ass nigga. But when it comes to the street business, and when it comes to knuckling up, 1v1, Kane absolutely destroys that little boy, Tariq. The winner, in terms of a street fight, is Kane Tahada. Let me know your thoughts on who would win in this fight. Comment your thoughts below.